Hey, Bikeaholics, Ryan Urlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks for checking in. Are you a tall rider? Maybe you want to extend your brake pedal out? Well, there's only one at the time of this video, one company making that extended brake pedal for touring models, 2014 and on. That's Kiriakin. And uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to install that. There's actually a little bit more involved than you would think. Um, and we just want a quick shout out and thank Kiriakin for their support of lawabidingbiker.com. So let's get to it. Let's install this thing. All right, and so we just, we gotta get the floorboard off first. We just don't want it in our way. Um, it'll make the whole project easier to install this extended brake lever. We've got a tall rider we're doing this for, Lurch, he's 6'3". Don't forget to check out our other video. We show you how to change out, and we use some HD brand extended floorboards for those tall riders to get those things up forward more. You can search our YouTube channel for that. Just search floorboards or search our website, lawbindingbiker.com, it's another free video. We change out the rubber panels and, and uh, anyways, put those extended floorboards. It's a 3 16 inch Allen he's using it and a 7 16 inch wrench, ratchet wrench that he's using. He's got both nuts off and I'll get those bolts out of the way that will release our floorboard. Now we have great access to that brake pedal. So we're moving right on in on the rear master cylinder for the brakes. And we're gonna remove those two bolts. That will give us some play uh, with this whole assembly here. All right, and with a quarter inch Allen on a socket there and an extension, he's gonna get those two bolts out. And there we go, and that frees that up so we have a little play here. All right, and with a five eighths, we've got obviously the brake cylinder broke loose there, the master cylinder. The five eighths, he's breaking that now. This is your actual brake pedal, what supports the lever there. Save your nut and washer there. We're gonna reuse that. And there's also a O-ring in there, kind of a rubber O-ring, and just make sure you save that too. So the next uh, thing you have to do is remove the cotter pin. And you can see what he's pointing to there with his ratchet extension right on the back. That's the back that holds the actual brake lever, uh, the foot brake. And so we've gotta remove that cotter pin. It's kind of an awkward position, but we're gonna get at it. Right, and you just get in there with some needle nose or whatever you need to do and might take a few attempts and we'll get this cotter pin backed out. You'll want to save this to reuse it. All right, and he's just got a pick tool. You can use needle nose, a pick tool to get up in there and uh, whatever works to release that cotter pin. That's what he's working on now. And there we go. Save that cotter pin, you'll need to reuse it. All right, now just with some pliers, he's pulling that pin out. And that releases the brake pedal, of course, from the master cylinder there. All right, and you just kind of got to lift the arm to the brake plunger up there, out of there, and just kind of manipulate everything. Once he gets it all manipulated right there, of course, your brake arm comes right off. All right, and so there's that floorboard arm up front, and it's hard to get this longer extended Kiriakin brake pedal on because um, you kind of have to manipulate back to get that brake cylinder hooked up and everything. So we're actually going to remove that front arm, get it out of our way. All right, and with a 9 16 inch wrench and a 5 16 inch socket, he's uh, going to work here. There's just a nut on the back there that he's holding. I'll get this front floorboard support out of our way. So this is real life, guys, and the kinds of predicaments you run into. And I will say on this Kiriakin extended brake pedal, the instructions completely lack in a particular area. And that is, um, they say that you can just, you know, remove the floorboard supports and all that. We've removed the floorboard supports. Um, got those out of our way and they say you should just be able to slide it on. Well, we can't because there's no clearance. And you can see those plates in the back on the lever. We've got to get those back in there. Well, he can't turn it up. Um, and it's not on the shaft and then if he pulls it out to get the brake pedal above the crash bars Now the hinge won't fit back in there. We took off the rear floorboard hinge to try to do it upside down and Bring it in that way, but there's it still won't get on the shaft enough and it and this is all stock These are stock headers Harley headers stock crash bars everything And so it really leaves us with no alternative to rotate that pedal on the shaft like that and be able to get it in appropriately like we're supposed to. So that leaves us with only one option and their instructions say nothing about it. 
but it does say that it's for 2014 and touring and up, which are all built like this. So we're going to have to remove uh, crash bars, uh, engine guards on this one so that we can uh, get that thing installed in there. Hopefully you're enjoying the video. If you want to make sure that content and these free videos keep coming your way, there is a way you can support us. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The community is growing over there. We'd like to have you involved too. Um, there's no risk over there. You can sign up for a certain level um, and pay a certain amount per piece of content with a cap. Absolutely no risk. There are some benefits over there. Um, T-shirts and a private Facebook group and some premium content. All depends on what level you sign up as. But that is a way that you can assure the content keeps coming your way. Lawabidingbiker.com slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Of course, if you ever want to just leave a flat donation, we do accept that too and appreciate it lawabidingbiker.com slash donate. Don't forget to check out that weekly podcast, guys. It's on fire. A ton of content we're putting out. Get involved over there. It's the Law Abiding Biker podcast. All right, let's get back into your video. All right, on both sides of these crash bars or engine guards is a Torx 45. Down at the frame. So he's going to remove both sides. All right, and he's just loosening up with a 5 30 seconds. There's uh, on your road glides and stuff, guys, you're going to have these extra clamps up front. And you can see that's what he's working on. There's just two of them, top and bottom. He's just going to loosen them because all we're going to do is rotate these engine guards forward. We're not actually going to take it all the way off. It's not necessary. We just need it up and out of our way. So your street glide may not have this, but the 2015 road glides and newer might have these extra clamps on both sides. All right, and at the front, he's just working on there's a quarter inch Allen. It's at the very center of your engine guards there. And it just threads right out, pretty simple. We'll actually move this all the way. That's gonna allow us to rotate these. Okay, so he's just lining up the uh, brake cylinder arm there between the cheek plates and the new extended brake lever. And then he's got the pin. And it takes just a little finesse. You got to line these holes up. And that's why we have everything loose still, the brake cylinder and everything, so you can still manipulate. That pin goes in there. And then he's got the one washer on the back of that pin. He's just using some needle nose so that he can get that washer situated on there. He's going to follow that up. Make sure your cotter pin is nice and flat. He's just turning his pin so he can align and see his uh, uh, hole. He's got a pick there. He's just trying to get it in a position that makes it advantageous so you can get the pin in. Make sure it's nice and flat. He's got his needle nose. He'll drive that pin down in there now. Now he's just getting the pin in a position to where you can spread the ends of it there so that it uh, secures the pin like it's supposed to. He's got it started. He's just going to finish it off with his fingers and get that pin spread apart real good. And here we go. All right, and uh, he's getting the bolts back in the rear brake cylinder there. Quarter inch Allen is what those are. And we'll get both those secured down tight and about another quarter turn is fine. Or if you're a torque wrench guy, look up your torque specifications. And with a 5.8 socket, just cranking that down. Again, tight and maybe another quarter turn. You can look up your torque specs if you want. All right, and it's got a greaser on it, the new one. And so we're just with a little grease gun and a multi-purpose grease. We're just going to pump some grease in there. That's all he's doing. All right, he got that all greased up. Good to go. All right, just got a half inch wrench and he's taking the brake pad, the actual rubber part, off his stock one so that he can put it on the uh, new Karyakin one. All right, there we go. All right, and he's just installing that stock rubber part for the brake pedal back on and putting the nut back on the bottom. All right, and you're just finishing it off. Don't over tighten, guys. 
about all he's going to give it. All right, just with a quarter inch Allen and a socket there, just working on getting that center crash bar bolt back on. We'll get these things locked back down. And with a Torx 45, he's getting on both sides, the lower crash bar bolts. He didn't tighten the center one yet, so that he could still get these lined up. He'll uh, actually get the other side done, and then he'll come around and tighten everything down. All right, and don't forget your 532nd uh, Allens there. On these road glides, you got these clamps up top. That's what he's working on for the engine guards. All right, and he's working on that front support now. 5 16 Allen and a 9 16 wrench on that nut on the back. And again, leaving this loose so that we can align the floorboards properly before we tighten it down. So now he's just aligning his floorboard, making sure the brackets are where he wants them. Now that he's got the brackets aligned, he'll at least get his bolts through on those floorboards. All right, now that he has the nuts finger started on the floorboards and all that, all the brackets are lined up, now he's going to crank these down. After he cranks the uh, actual supports down, we'll go back up and tighten the actual floorboards down. All right, and with a 3 16 Allen and a 7 16 inch wrench, he's just cranking the floorboards down. Don't get them too tight, remember guys? because uh, you want to adjust how easy and how hard these go up and down and that's what he's doing he's just getting the tension just right where he wants it all right he got the front adjusted and the back just how he wants it and there you go one extended brake lever karyakin brand guys for you taller riders save that cotter pin you'll need to reuse it dude how fucking smooth is that If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, you are really missing out. We have a ton of videos in the works for you guys, so get subscribed. Also sign up for the free email club, lawabidingbiker.com slash email club. We will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos. Also, do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.